Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and this is going to be the final round of Rookie Division Albatross of Ball 9 Hole Cup. Super, super frustrated with what just happened to me here on hole number 3. You can see here I got off to the perfect start, Albatross, Albatross, and then just picked up a very nasty birdie uh, on hole number 3. So, you know, learn from my mistake on that one, but let's go ahead and hop into the replays to maybe help you get off to a better start so uh, hole number one going to be pretty simple here we just take a titan you can use a kingmaker if you want to but if you use a kingmaker just do the two side spin to the right so six top two right you're going to see here i put my yellow ring on the rough line i back up about two yards so plus 16 is max distance with the um uh, extra mile level eight and then a power three ball here i use a little bit of overpower since i do pull into overpower and you can see the amount of curl that I'm using as well. So make sure you try to duplicate that as best as possible because we are looking to get uh, up onto this part of the fairway here. Shot number two, you're gonna be played at 0%. Just make sure you check your own distance of your club because depending on what kind of rollout you get, if you get less yards, you might be at maximum distance of your thorn. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you get way less yards, you might be playing this with your long iron. So I would pack the Goliath just in case, because in my opinion, the Goliath is the best long iron option uh, on this particular shot. So here, I was in short iron range. Makes the shot just a little bit easier in my opinion, a little bit closer to the hole. You're gonna see a perfect ball, no problem in the hole. Hole number two, we're just gonna go bombs away. We're gonna go no moving target and we're not going to adjust for the wind. We're gonna go six top, two left, max OP, half a ball of curl to the left. Here we do fire off a perfect shot. I did pick up the albatross on both of my accounts on this hole. This shot as well gets us into thorn range for that albatross opportunity. So always nice when you got back to back holes, you can get in thorn range for the albatross. Here I played at 0% at mid. Again, check your own distance of your club because we're all gonna have different drives on this particular hole. You might be closer, you might be further away. So just make sure you know if you're playing this at minimum, mid or max or somewhere in between. But here I just apply my backspin. I put the ball guideline towards the hole. I played both my accounts at 0% at mid, two for two with perfect shots. Okay, so those are the first two holes. Now we're gonna get to this hole three collapse. And I'm gonna show you basically here um, you know, this is, this is the path that I tried to go. Oh, hold on, now it's all messed up here. Here we go, yeah, this is the path that I tried to go, which was the left-hand side. You see, I got a nice ball guideline going over the rocks right there. But we're going to talk about this path, and then I'm going to show you a different way to go here in just a second. All right, I hit a great ball, so not a whole lot to see here. But you see this, how I hit the rock and I rolled out pretty far onto the fairway? Well, that did not happen when I went to play it in real mode, okay? So what happened when I went to play it in real mode was I got stuck in the rough which made it impossible to get to the green in two. Like I had to lay up um, down here by this, this little bunker area and the stupid little red trees or whatever in my way and I could not get a clear shot to the pin to try to save the hole. So that kind of stinks. But uh, here's, you know, practice mode going for shot number two, which looks like a good, good opportunity, right, for that Alba, but I just hit a great ball. So what do we want to do instead? That's going to be obviously the key let's take a look here that scorecard is so frustrating to have a three three then a minus one let's take a look here 
at what we should probably do. Let's take a look at what Baby Yoda did. That's my opponent here on the last hole. Um, you know, still not the most clear path to pin for shot number two. I guess if we want to go over the rocks, we might want to go with the power four or power five ball. Going over the rocks, like I just showed in the replay, I think is the best way to get to the hole. So maybe I just got, you know, maybe I just got unlucky or whatever, and I got stuck in the rough. But still, you know, it still happened. So look at this. You can't even see the adjustment, but you can see where they're playing. So they hit a perfect ball here. They play over the sand trap with a big topper and they get a lot of yards pushing the drive up into a very safe drive. Now, you can already take a look at the pin placement here and you can see the trees in the way. Um, so, you know, you'll have to use some side spin on shot number two. It looks like I'll show you their shot number two. Pretty much getting direct well, not anymore, not if you move the screen. That was direct headwind, but here you could probably play under those tree branches. Actually, it looks like they did have a clear path to pin. But regardless, you can see they're using the side spin, they're using the back spin to get the ball guideline towards the hole without having anything obstructing their shot. They're offsetting to the left-hand side as well, so note that. With the one bar side spin to the right, they did offset left hand side. I don't know what their pull was. You could go back and watch it and try to figure it out. But they do hit a perfect ball, so that's always good to learn from. But you can see here that even with their offset, they're gonna miss by about three quarters of a green square to the right. So, hey, that's the first three holes. I'll get as many out as I can. I do have to leave the house here in about an hour and a half for my daughter's volleyball game. Best of luck, everybody.